Yo, what up? Don't mind me just slamming a granola bar. <clears throat> Trying to give myself a little last minute energy here. How is everybody? Make sure we're live, make sure we're green. Turn the music down a little bit. Uh, microphone is not muted. Okay. I forgot for a second how to stream, so. Bear with me. Happy Monday to everyone. Hope you've all had a wonderful start to the week. I uh, don't know where you are at on this wonderful planet, but we are supposed to get a lot of snow here in the Midwest. And if we're going to get a lot of snow in the Midwest, then I would assume there are places that are uh, going to get a whole lot more of it further north. I think, uh, I think the snow for us starts on, what is today, Monday, Tuesday night? Tuesday night into Wednesday through Thursday. I think we're supposed to end up with like 15 inches of snow or something like that. So I may need to go sledding, which might make for some good content. But hope everybody's got their snow sleds and their snow shovels. All right. And for those of you that are in places where it's sunny, I don't want to hear a thing from you. All right, first one in the chat. Let me scroll up here. Turn that off. I did miss you all. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, Mike Middleton, first one in the chat. <gasps> oh, it's going to be a good stream. It's going to be a really good stream. Glad I muted the mic there. Mike Middleton. Hopefully the chat doesn't get gridlocked and overcrowded by Canadian truckers. I can't even hear myself. Who picked this music? Hold on. Turn that down. All right. Need something just a little more chill. Let's not start it tonight, Gary. I know it's early. Ooh, he's had a lot of ramen this week. Uh, hopefully the chat doesn't get gridlocked and overcrowded by Canadian truckers. Uh, Gary didn't get enough Tim Hortons in case of that happening. Ah. That's why he's so crabby. Canadian truckers. That sounds like a uh, TLC daytime show. <laughs> uh, I haven't had any of Tim Horton's coffee in a long time. I guess I will just have to drink some of my Kona coffee. Is that the stuff from Hawaii that you have flown in on on uh, Seahorse? I'll just drink my peasant Keurig over here. Actually, I've never had Tim Horton's either, but I know of Tim Horton's only because of the YouTube channel. Uh, called the straight pipes shout out to them i enjoy their uh enjoy their videos uh axe what up man set up uh sup joel no bg again axe you are wrong and i hope you are in the chat i'm going to show you that you are wrong i am going to show you that you're wrong come with me everyone come with me and you'll see he's hiding and in fact i can't remember where he's hiding at uh, let's see here. Oh, man, my computer is slow tonight. Okay, so he is hiding just uh, above and to the right of the S. He's just kind of peeking out. He's right. I can't even grab him. <laughs> there he is right there. There he is. Okay, that was kind of cheating. All right, I'll give you, I'll give you that. He was, he was teeny tiny. You've just come to expect me to forget him. It kind of hurts me, actually. Uh, Edwin, what up, man? Pixie Bell, 60, 40, Joel, 60, 40. Is that how much you have missed me to not miss me? Hi, Pixie. Uh, original Joel, how the heck are you? Fun fact. Ooh, these are always fun. Did you know that uh, slugs have four noses? P.S. Penelope says hi. Wait, what? <laughs> I didn't even know sl slugs had noses. Wait, does that mean... Hold on. Does that mean they could use slugs for, like, security? Uh, you know, when, when you're going through, they got the bomb-sniffing dogs? Imagine if they, <laughs> if they just bring out these little slugs. 
I mean, if they got four noses. The visual of that was awesome. Uh, Joel's having a midlife crisis pretending to be a DJ. Oh, the beginning? Yeah. I gotta have something to, to hype me up. It's late. It's been a long day. I take a shower, get the coffee, get the tunes pumping. Helps me wake up. Uh, just realized... What up, Jace? Uh, just realized Guardian helps you up and pats your shoulder with a wink after he KOs his opponent. That's true. Yeah, he does. Does the screen crack on his? I can't remember if that's him. Maybe that's Ebony Maw. Uh, Bastero, what up, man? Good to see you here tonight. Hope you're well. Uh, it's 70 degrees in Southern California. That's unfortunate. Maybe you can send some of that my way. Thursday, San Antonio expects to get ice. Wow. That's going to shut the place down for sure. Uh, it's 65 where I live. Pixie, where are you at? Uh, stroking my saber, stepdad, I have a confession to make. If you don't like football, I understand, but my team is going to the Super Bowl. <gasps> Please tell me it's Cincinnati. We're rooting for Cincinnati. Joe Burrow, former LSU quarterback. And I would hate to see the Rams win <laughs> so shortly after leaving St. Louis. Uh, close. It's called Ice Road Truckers. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. Uh, Colin, congrats, Joel. You are the first streamer I watch on my free Mac computer from work. Do I look beautiful? We need to get, uh... Also, how did you get a free Mac from work? That's a question for another time, I suppose. Alright, we need to get rocking and rolling. Uh, what is this? Oh, BB, what'd you send? Look at that. I don't even know what's in those, but hopefully revives. Thanks, Beebs. Take that, baldness. Can I send them back to you? Let me see, gift. Um, I have eight available. I'll send you five back since you sent me five. There you go. Boom. Baldness right back at you. All right, let me auto fight. Um, I've got some energy that is in the overflow. Let me auto fight while we say our howdies since I've missed all of your beautiful faces so very much. Um, I kind of would rather have the music playing, honestly, than, uh, eh, that's okay. We'll shut it off. Okay, let me preview this real quick. It's been a minute since I haven't had one. There we go. There's one. Looking for a Dooley. Shout out to Dooley Ray. Uh, no, we will take E. All right. Let's see. Colin, congrats, Joel. Oh, I read that. Uh, yeah, how did you get a free Mac? Curious minds. Uh, you got me this time. I'm rusty at this game. The, see, the problem is that uh, I set you up for failure. I I missed having him so often that you just assume he's not there. Oh, you know what? We're lagging, aren't we? Oh, maybe not. Tell me, how does that look for you? I can't tell if that's choppy or not. Um, That's what she said. Okay. <laughs> what a pixie. Uh, I didn't see BG either. He was, uh, I don't know. You'd really have to zoom in to be able to see him, man. What up, MSD? Ma cracks it. Anti-Venom closet. Red Guardian and Mojo make the screen go black. Speaking of making the screen go black, uh, I watched a King Groot S3 the other day and still absolutely crack up that, uh, <laughs> they were just so lazy that they're like, eh, we'll just make the screen go black. They could imagine. I think my Elgato needs reset. Hold on. Same old, same old. So frustrating. Ah, It's like you would think I would learn at some point. All right, we'll let that play out for just a second while the Elgato resets. Um, Stafford is my goat. I don't have anything wrong or against Matt Stafford, I suppose. But yeah, rooting for Cincinnati. I'm assuming stroking my saber, does that mean you're rooting for LA? 
Uh, Colin, the school I work for, uh, the school I work at decided to switch to those horrific and cheaply made Chromebooks. I mean, I suppose they have their purpose, but... Uh, CDB, I missed you, Joel. I missed you guys as well. So I haven't streamed since, uh, last Monday. Um, see, what happened... <laughs> what happened was, uh, I got, I got kind of sick in the middle of last week and um it kind of it kind of happened over a couple days just didn't feel very well didn't have a lot of energy and then work was busy and then we were doing a lot trying to get the house ready and one thing led to another and uh yeah it was a week before we were back but this should be a semi-normal week in fact this may be a week where we stream more often than normal with these snowstorms we may find ourselves home for a little bit, so as long as we got signal, we may uh, we may stream. Uh, Numero Pluto, I love that name. What up, man? Uh, so the SoFi Stadium is very close to my house, and traffic is gonna be horrible. Super Bowl Sunday. I didn't know you were out uh, out in California, Pixie. I've completed monthly event quests for the month, and then do revive and health po uh, health pot farming. Recently, counted around 170 revives. Lordy. I think right now I'm at about, I think I'm close to 50. We did get close to 4,000 units. I think we're gonna be a-okay for the start of our abyss fun. Uh, Red Dog, good to see you here tonight. Uh, halftime is what I'm waiting for. Halftime this year is, I should know this. It's Snoop Dogg and is Eminem? I'm trying to remember the commercial that I saw. Uh, Caesar, get him! If this goes anything like your old labyrinth runs, you're gonna slam this out of the park. I don't know if that is sarcasm, <laughs> uh, but I like your optimism. I welcome it. We need we need more of that positive energy. All right, let's run that again. Uh, let's see. Pixie, you and me both. Huge Eminem fanboy. Oh, there we go. Uh, Wolf, what up? What up, what up? How did Monday treat everyone? I'm binge watching Forge and Fire while watching the stream and auto fighting the new side quest. Don't know why, but I can't get enough of watching people making knives. Uh, yes. What's the one on the History Channel, uh, where they make the weapon and, like, they attack the dead hanging pigs and stuff? That one I find myself watching on YouTube quite often. All right, we got one at C. Yeah, let's head C. Also, Jeff, I think you need to be watching a few more things at the same time. <laughs> Born and raised Cali girl. I'm going to make it out there at some point. Never been to the West Coast. Hi, Joel. I got COVID, but here enjoying your stream. Thanks for the awesome content you always make. Uh, Juan, hope you get to feeling better, man. That is not fun. I think most of us in here at this point have probably experienced that. Rest and lots of um, lots of pastries. That's my non-medical medical advice. <laughs> uh, let's see, four thousand units worth of calves. Why are we not? Why are we not auto fighting this? Sorry, how long have I have I been sitting at that at that screen? <laughs> oh, so I opened a calf uh, last night, one calf, and I got a uh, six-star Nexus crystal out of it. So remind me in like five minutes to open that thing. Uh, Dre, Mary J, Blige, Kendrick Lamar, and Tupac. Wow. When is the AOL run? It'll be this week. I'm not entirely sure what day it's going to start. Uh, I anticipate that it's probably going to take at least two streams. Speaking of which, is there any reason... Is there any reason that I can't take Hitmonkey in place of Nick Fury? 
And the only reason I ask, let me show you. Um, so MSD sent me this little chart here. So this is my current setup. Aegon, Torch, Magneto, Sim Supreme, Nick Fury. And it looks like the only fight you run Nick Fury is uh, Invisible Woman. But I really, really like Hitmonkey against Thing. For some reason, Aegon against uh, Thing, like, I just... It doesn't go well. But Hitmonkey would, would make that fight a lot easier. And I think he would get through Invisible Woman. But I guess the question is, having the extra 20% attack for the whole fight? You know, the whole path? Is that more important? I mean, I think I know the answer to that, but... <laughs> Just a thought, throwing it out there. Uh, no sarcasm. Okay, fair enough. Uh, have you seen the 888 bundle in the store? I cop that. Should I wait for the feature to hopefully do perk, obtain Penny Parker, or uh, Pride, or buy a normal one? Listen, I have very little willpower to be able to hold anything. Um, having said that, I love Herc. Any chance you can to get Herc if you don't have him already is a chance that I would take. I was so excited when you said Snoop and Eminem. Was I way off? Is I like nowhere close? Oh man, forged in fire. Your blade will kill. Doesn't he say something like that? Hoping the fam are doing well. Yeah, we're doing fine. I just, uh, I don't know, had a little bit of a stomach bug. And my son missed the day of school. I just didn't have a whole lot of energy, so. The thought of getting on here and streaming didn't work out. Plus, I was doing a lot of work. I'll have to show you guys. I did so much work in our laundry room. We got all the walls up. Got the drywall up. Got the framing done. Electrical's done. Outlets are in. Switches are in. Most of it's painted. I got to do some trim work around the doors. We're close. We are very, very close to getting this place on the market. Uh, let's see. The halftime is Eminem, uh, Dr. Drake, Kendrick, Mary J. Blige, and Snoop. See, there we go. It was Eminem and Snoop. Uh, when is the Abyss run? And bigger question, who and what do you want from that run? Oh, man. I haven't actually even thought about that. I guess that's something I should give some consideration to. Uh, I still don't have APOC as a 5-star. I think that is probably who I'll go after. Can Hitmonkey counter miss? Um, he can counter evade. I don't know if he can counter miss. That's a good question. Uh, drop Fury and bring Heimdall for the Collector. I've also seen that group of people. My bigger question is, who do I need for Invisible Woman? I have not looked to see uh, what specifically that fight calls for. Is there some reason to bring Nick Fury specifically for that fight? Here's the thing. If we open up this six-star Nexus Crystal here in a second and we manage to get Nick and finally dupe our six-star Nick, that'll... That'll kind of settle it right there. That would be awesome if I could do that. Uh, please give me another one. Make it three for three to start the stream. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Nothing. Okay, well. I don't know. I guess we'll run the science path to make it quicker. Uh, Hey, Joel, I got Thronebreaker yesterday. Congratulations, Greenfield. That's a big deal. That's a big deal, if nothing else, just for the uh, the Daily Crystal alone. I got a fully formed T5B out of a uh, Daily Crystal. Then I followed that up with a uh, 5,000 five-star shards the next day. Those crystals are nuts, man. Uh, you fight thing with Aegon to ramp up Aegon. Well, I, I understand that, but there's going to be lots and lots of time to ramp up Aegon. Cheese McGriddle. Hello, Mr. Line. I love that name. And also, I kind of want a McGriddle now. <laughs> uh, I have Herc as a five-star, but I want to dupe him for the juicy immortality. You don't even know 
what you're missing until you get him awakened, man. Hit monkey's getting beat up. I have not been watching it. Auto fight is the best thing ever. All right, I'm gonna go watch uh, DD with Hobbits, Melia, everyone. Later's easy. Uh, and Nick Fury can. Oops. Um, let's see here. Let's see, Grinfield. Nick Fury can counter Invisible Woman. Miss Hit Monkey can't counter Miss. Is there any reason that I can't fight Invisible Woman with Aegon? Like, he'll be fully ramped up by then. Hey, Miss Jane! Oh, hey! Look, Miss Jane. Uh, I specifically added that stream trophy with you in mind. Just because you said uh, an Aston Martin, was it a DBS? Or Vantage was like your dream car? Uh, wait, Snoop and Eminem are performing? I swear I thought you made that up. Uh, no, I did not. There was, uh, there was a commercial floating around, I think, on Twitter. Aegon owned Invisible Woman for me. I just don't see if... If Nick can handle it, why couldn't a fully ramped up Aegon handle it? <laughs> I say do whatever MSD says. You know what I need to do? I need to practice against Thing with Aegon. For whatever reason, I could, I know what the problem is. The problem is math. Because uh, he's got a 6 hit combo. And then his S1, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's 6 hits as well. So you get the 15 like really, really fast. It just messes with me. Uh, Invisible Woman's shield is pretty hefty. Uh, you definitely need a beefy dot effect on her. Ah. Well, I mean, Aegon's S2 is pretty beefy. As far as dots go. We'll see. I'll run it past MSD uh, before we go in there this week. Hey, Joel in chat. Hope you're well. Mr. Murph. I'm doing fantastic. Ready for the start of a new week. Looking forward to hanging out with you guys. Missed y'all last week. Uh, sup, Joel? Lirum? Clearum? I'm not sure I've got confirmation on how to say your name yet. <laughs> okay, Joel, since Kabam takes your ideas, how would you set up an auto-fight feature for Arena? An auto-fight feature for Arena? Doesn't that... Isn't that botting? I mean, isn't that the very definition of botting? <laughs> I can't, I can't explain that on chat. I will get, uh, or on stream, I will get banned. When's George R. R. Martin going to release the next book? What is that in reference to? <laughs> You're so sweet. Remind me, was it the DBS? I can't remember. Which one you said, Miss Jane? Okay, I am going to... What am I going to do here? Let's open... What are in those red velvet, red cards? Whatever they are. What are in these? Let's claim that. I'll wait a little bit to open up that um, Nexus 6 star there. Greater red envelopes. Ooh. Okay. We'll take the units. Oh. Uh, yeah, they are. We got more units in these? Please? Please? Okay. Nice. Well, that was unexpected. Uh, <laughs> almost 200 units. Much appreciated. Thank you, Kabam. Would love to get myself over 4,500 before we start uh, start the Abyss run. Uh, I don't think I have been in Arena today at all yet. Let's go ahead and jump in. Just arrived! There's BB. What up, man? I sent you back a gift. Did you get it? Uh, Aegon can work against Invisible Woman, but can't use any specials, or you will be stunned. That sucks. Uh, I used Aegon with the Resonate. Uh, let's see. Where did you go? Hold on. Chat's moving fast. Why is chat moving so quick? Keith! What up, Keith? Dude, that's incredibly generous of you, man. 
Uh, hey, Joe, love the content, especially the on-tune melody. Let him know, Bri. Let him know, baby. Uh, I think you're just buttering me up there. Uh, look forward to more content and good luck in the abyss. Definitely want another incursions push with you and BG. Hey, man, I, uh, I can't thank you enough. That's a lot of money, dude. I, um, I'm glad you enjoy the content. I will definitely sing more for you. So stick around for that. Also, would love to do another incursions. What was it called? Sabotage? Would love to do another Sabotage run. That that might have been, outside of my initial Labyrinth of Legends run, that might have been like the most fun piece of content I've ever done with Brian. If y'all have any more ideas for something crazy like that, would love to hear them. Would love to hear them. Keith, let me get you pulled out from behind there. There you are. Appreciate it, man. It's very kind of you. Uh, let's see. How is the audio on the game? I feel like all of my settings are off since I haven't been here for a week. They get pretty good loot. It might be just what we needed, man. Red envelopes are poo-poo. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think the uh, the little tiny ones are probably poo-poo. The bigger ones, though, that wasn't bad. That was only two. We got 188 units out of. How do you even give those away? Like, how do you get them? Do you have to spend units? Uh, you need to get that... Uh, Sir taps a lot robot that Kabam has and a camera looking at the screen and some fancy programming and you have a robot play arena for you. Oh yeah, talking about the auto fight on the arena. Oh, speaking of auto fight spots and arena, I've seen some pretty spicy photos floating around uh, of people who just got compensation back for uh, losing out on champs and arena due to botting. Has anybody been the recipient of uh, of a champ like that? I feel like I've missed so much just being out a week. I didn't get to talk to you guys about the balancing. Uh, we didn't get to talk about quick, quick sliver. I'm going to call him quick sliver, okay? I'm calling it now. You can take it, but you have to give me credit for it. <laughs> um... Yeah, I guess I'm excited for that. The one thing I'm not excited about is if you look on the post from, uh, or on Twitter from Kabam, or from Marvel, it says champ info. I think it says coming late 2022. So <laughs> we're not even going to have him this year. It'll probably be like, I don't know, April or May next year. It's a long time to wait, man. Uh, BB, you shouldn't have gifted back, uh, but hope it brings you more good luck with that six-star Nexus. We'll give that a few more minutes, and then we'll pop that thing open. Uh, there's a side quest when you press the journey to the Savage Lands. Check it out. Oh, is that where you get the red envelopes at? <laughs> I was watching, uh, I was watching Seton's video this morning on uh kind of his general thoughts about the uh the way that they're gonna update the bat name i don't know i'm sure what to call it the balancing the way they balance characters champ balancing champ tuning champ nerfing i don't know what the official terminology is but i'm not entirely sure how i feel about it yet uh because on the one hand i don't on the one hand, I don't have a huge problem with it because I'm not somebody who is, one, going to spend money to open crystals to get new characters or, two, go on some crazy, crazy arena grind to get them out of the initial featured arena. So I'm not all that upset about them taking six months to potentially change a character because I'm not going to have them on, in normal circumstances within that time period anyway. But I definitely could see 
how if you're somebody who is dropping dough or spending you know an entire week every waking moment in the arena to get a character um you know being a little hesitant about doing that now because you just don't know character could be totally different three four five six months from now so folks in that position i get it while they're a little bit leery um but time will tell i'm still kind of open to all that the the part of the announcement that has got me scratching my head though is i just don't understand this whole rating system right like it just doesn't make any sense to me because there's so many uh there's just so many different kinds of characters and scenarios and ways that you play the characters and get the best out of them that to just blanket statement throw a number on a character seems almost misleading. Like his example was uh his example was Aegon, right? So if you're gonna if you're gonna assign a numerical value to their damage out of five, so you give it a five. If you're a new player to the game and you see that Aegon is a five and that's what you want, like you're going to be really disappointed when you realize that if he's not awakened, it's not a five and it's going to take a long time to get to a five. And there's a lot of different scenarios like that. So I don't know how they're going to rectify that, man. That seems like a really, really bold thing to add to the game. We'll put it that way. Not sure how that's going to work out. Uh, I got a five-star Psycho Man from Compensation. I don't know if you should be excited about that or not. <laughs> uh, old Psycho Booty. Talk about needing a, a retune. Uh, my son turns three tomorrow. Where does the time go? Colin, congratulations. Happy birthday to your son. If he was around, I would sing him one of my famous versions of Happy Birthday. But, uh, yeah, no, no, I totally agree with you, man. You turn around, and they're no longer crawling around. They're, they're little terrors, and I mean that in the nicest of ways. What's he into at three, man? I'm trying to think, what was my first son into at three? I don't know if my wife was in the chat. She could tell me. <laughs> it's probably... Paw Patrol or Mario or a combination of the two. Uh, I want a six-star Cosmic Toast Rider. Yes, I call him Toast Rider. I'm, I'm, I'm fully on board with that name. I have a six-star Cosmic Toast Rider, who is currently at rank two. I should take him to rank three. I just haven't pulled the trigger on it yet. Uh, I barely play Arena ever. Haven't grinded for a champ since four-star Hyperion. Holy cow! It'd be very interesting to see what the scores look like now that they have uh, now that they've pulled some of the botting out of the arena. I actually didn't see. Did they end up posting? Did Trucos post today the cutoffs for Sauron? Sauron. He's a character that didn't seem like he got a whole lot of love from the community, but then again, I haven't been here for a week, so. Maybe somebody found an, an awesome place for him. Uh, BB, I've been a recipient of five-star anti-venom. Uh, went for 42 mil in arena back then, but yeah, I got him through a cap crystal prior to getting the mail. Uh, he's sig 200 already. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah. I guess better late than never, but... I do like the fact that they have more freedom with the new game mechanics. They better take advantage of that, though. Uh, my internet is sucking golf balls, so I'll try to come back in a while. Okay, well, go get a driver and knock the balls out of the park. Is that a golf reference? I may have just crossed sports. I don't know. <laughs> Imagine having a cosmic toast rider, the amount of toast that you must have. I, uh, I feel bad having him because I know so many people want him and I just don't use him. Does that make me a, a bad content creator? I know he's amazing. Like, I'm not arguing that. I just, uh, 
I like default. I go to Hyperion for everything. Or not Hyperion, excuse me. Uh, Hercules. Uh, I'm actually excited about Psycho Man's return. I have a six star. If they can fix the timing on his rotation, he is going to be legit. Uh, yeah, he's due for an update, isn't he? Soon-ish. There's my wife. At three, it was PJ Masks and Blow Up Tangs. Oh, that's right. He was really, really... Actually, he still is, but at a very, a very young age, he was really into the yard, like Christmas inflatables or Halloween inflatables. He called them blow, blow up tangs. Three. It's a good age. Uh, my wife is trying to put him down for bed. My son likes Spidey and Friends. Oh, okay. That's on Disney Plus, isn't it? Uh, his favorite character is Hulk. He calls him Ulk. Yeah, I remember we had um, Spider Man and Friends. I think we might have watched like two episodes. <laughs> and uh, it just never got picked back up. Happy. He needs to get to bed, man. Happy birthday to him, though. Uh, gotta go be in an OHS meeting. Have fun, kids. Lift with the knees and report all hazards to Gary. Well said, Miss Jane. I will have your Aston Martin waiting upon your return. Bert, what up, man? Joel, I was doing our taxes today. Oh, And my wife paid exactly eight, uh, 801 in state of Michigan taxes. Made me think of you. Never forget, baby. Man, that's a throwback right there. That's hilarious, Bert, that I have had such an impact on your life that uh, you would think of me during your taxes. We just uh, submitted our state and fed. Ta uh, we know, I know for sure our federal. I can't remember if we got our state filed or not. My lovely wife handled all that for me this year. Never forget, 801. I've not grinded for an arena champ in a long time, just not worth the time. I uh, I did a um, an Ultron grind like a month ago, just for the five star. Wasn't too bad. And my, uh, my roster at that point, that was right before I got all of those uh, greater gifting crystals. So I didn't have nearly the number of six stars that I have now. That was kind of the max I could do <laughs> before the uh, gifting event was about 15 mil. Nexus time? I suppose it is Nexus time. Let's go do that in just a second. Who could forget Club 801? You have a shirt. That is a fact. Actually, I'm wearing my HQ shirt. CHQ, that is. Actually, a really nice shirt. It's held up after all these years. Wish I understood this, dude. Okay, I do want to go pop that Nexus Crystal here as soon as we finish this fight. And then I also wanted to go over and practice a little bit in, uh, in Abyss with Aegon versus Thing so I don't look like a complete buffoon. What? What was the delay? That was weird. Don't do it. Uh, Casually Henry, hello. Good evening, sir. How are you? Good to see you. Maybe she was like that 30 years ago. Uh, MCOC Youngin. She old now? Who's old? We're talking about Miss Jane? Don't talk about her like that. She's not here. All right, let's go pop that crystal. Please, oh please, oh please, would love for it to be, would love for it to be Nick Fury. Okay, come on. So if you were not here earlier and I mentioned it, this random cab crystal that I popped last night managed to get myself a six star Nexus. Um, I think Awakening Nick Fury. I take him right to rank three. Uh, that would be beautiful for the Abyss. Uh, would love to get an APOC. I'm trying to think. Oh, Shang-Chi. Man, I would love a Shang-Chi. That dude is a lot of fun. 
I'm just trying to think what helps me, like, specifically just this for Abyss. I mean, Aegon, there's no way I'm going to pull him twice, so that's not really going to be all that helpful to me. All right, let's pop this thing. We're not going to go to the Crystal Vault because these Nexus Crystals don't like the Crystal Vault. Okay. Um, man. Those are all really good choices. Shoot, what do we do here? <laughs> I think... Uh, so, I have... I have Gilly. Oops. Don't make the automatic choice for me here. I have Gilly as a 565 already. I have both Mojo and King Groot as five stars, but haven't put any resources into either one of them. Man, that's a really good Nexus. Oh, goodness gracious. That is a really, really good Nexus. I'm kind of leaning towards Mojo here. What's chat think? Wow, jackpot for hard choices. Uh... Gilly or KG should be it, but KG needs that awakening. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to awaken him. And I just don't see what content I would use him in initially. I'd really love to get a hold of that Gilly. I'm not sure there's a bad choice here. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Bojo damage sucks unless he's high sig. I wouldn't use him, though. I probably wouldn't use him a whole lot, but he would be great for solo competitive to throw on uh, to throw on defense. Flex on BG with that mojo. He has a six-star mojo, though, doesn't he? I'm definitely going to pick a six-star. Like, that's definitely going to happen. Hmm. I think I'm going to go Mojo here. As much as I want to pick Gilly, I have not put any resources in the 5-star into either Mojo or King Groot. BG would say Cake, uh, King Groot. Yeah, I know he would. Oh... God, that's tough. All right, here's what we're going to do. Because I don't think it really matters all that much to me right this second. Who be the pick? We are going to... We're going to throw it to the chat. So if you are here, God bless you. Uh, G2099 or King Groot. All right, we're going to throw it to a poll. We're going to throw it to a poll. We're going to give it all of, uh, I don't know, maybe two, three minutes here. We'll see what you guys have to say. Because I'm a loving and giving content creator. I love my community with a deep, passionate love. Can I, can I pull that up somehow? There we go. Now I can see it. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm loving it. Oh, wow. Gilly's already at 45%. You want Mojo? Go Mojo. Don't second guess it. I mean, I want Mojo as much as I want Gilly, as much as I want King Groot. Like, I really kind of want that guillotine. So let me think. I have not taken... All right, time out. Let me actually think about this. I've not taken a tech character to rank three yet. This is six star. I do have a rank three purple widow. I don't have any rank three cosmics.
off the top of my head i can't remember what is what is gilly's awakened ability is it the regen uh where is tech i'm losing my mind here we go Uh, when Guillotine would be struck, she has a 1600% chance to gain a combo shield passive lasting two seconds plus two additional seconds per Digisoul. Okay, so her core abilities really aren't tied up into her awakened ability. Uh, shoot, man. I forgot I've not taken a rank th or haven't taken a tech to rank three yet. But Mojo and K, uh, King Groot as five stars who I have, I could easily awaken them. God, now I'm kind of leaning Mojo. What's the chat got to say here? Uh, chat saying guillotine, okay. Look at this, look at this crawling on my wire here. Do you guys have stink bugs? Can you even see that? God, these stupid stink bugs, man. Execution. Gary, come deal with this. And now I smell. Now I smell. Yo, 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 yo. Oh. Rancid. Rancid. <sighs> Bet I'm not even like. There we go. That's better. Uh, all right. We're going to end the poll here. Paul says guillotine. <laughs> oh man. Sponsor tonight. Maybe we should do the sponsor. We'll do the sponsor and then we'll come back. We'll come back to the poll. Actually, tonight's sponsor. It's kind of a it's kind of a special gift. Listen, Valentine's Day is just around the corner. Somebody special, you know, somebody that you love, a birthday present. Listen, I think it's important that on this channel, we offer a variety of sponsors that I feel can have like legitimate impact on the people, um, you know, that are here. So that's why I think Gary's done a, just a bang up job on tonight's sponsor. I asked that they, my only requirement was that they send over a sample for me to try. It's still in the mail. Haven't got it yet. But tonight's sponsor is Roto Wipe. Yes, you heard that. Roto Wipe. Uh, it's better than a bidet. Some bidet, some bidon't, but all Roto Wipe. Um, best thing about it, and you can see the front of the box, back of the box. Um, I think one of the most impressive things is that it comes with a bunch of different attachments. So if you're somebody who gets like really like rough and callous feet, you can trade that thing out for like a spinning stone, you know, get your foot down in there, polish your nails. Also another feature, it is dishwasher safe. So if you were worried about cleanup afterwards, don't just pop that thing right into the dishwasher. Brian's tried it. Brian loves it, don't you, Brian? Yeah. He was one of the first people in the office that tried it out. I heard him in there. He was in there for quite a while. Yeah, Roto Wipe. Make sure you use the uh, the offer code Turd Ferguson, uh, and they give you free shipping on that. I'll let you know. Gary's getting one set up down in the basement bathroom. <laughs> Good on you, that's Gary, that's why we keep you around for products like that. How much are we getting paid for this placement? We're not? Oh, even better. We just get free crap. Does Brian have one under his chair? He might. Dishwasher safe. Dishwasher safe. All right, we're ending the poll. People say guillotine 2099. All right, end the poll. Why is the poll not ending? There, the poll ended. All right. Thank you for the poll. <laughs> Sweet. 
Sweet! Couldn't go wrong there. Um, alright, let's get back into it. We need to grab some more units. I... I am going to be spending a lot of units this week. I can feel it. Let's filter... Let's filter that out. We'll throw six stars in here. Get after it. Uh, go wash your hands before you touch your phone with those stink bug fingers. I'm gonna go put them on a roto wipe. Is there a pleasure model? Uh, I think they're all pleasure models. <laughs> there was, let's see, when was the last time? It was last Monday we streamed. Okay, so on Thursday this last week, we went to uh, this place over in Missouri that does um, like real high-end uh, bathroom stuff, sinks, toilets, which is what made me think of the sponsor for tonight. But So my son, uh, my uh, three-year-old's with us, four-year-old, excuse me, four-year-old's with us, and he's got to use the restroom, so I take him to the bathroom. And we walk in, and this toilet, I mean, you've got to have, like, four degrees in order to be able to operate this toilet. And one of those degrees has to be a mechanical engineer. There's just, like, a whole row of buttons on the tank. And then on the wall, there's, like, this mounted plate. And it's probably, I don't know, like, 18 inches wide, and there's two rows of these like silver chrome buttons. And this is all for the toilet. And so it takes me a second to figure out how to get the lid to come up, which it opens up automatically. A bunch of lights come on. And then he sits, he sits down and I can hear him. He goes, oh, it's warm. <laughs> so apparently it was a heated seat. And so he gets done and I'm like, don't touch, don't touch anything. Till I get in there so I go in and I'm trying to figure out how to flush this thing I must have looked at it for like I don't know man like a minute before I finally realized how to flush the thing but uh, yeah I didn't know such pieces of equipment and technology existed but why spend all of that money on a toilet that can sing to you when you could get roto wipe and listen to me on the toilet. I'll sing to you. Sounds like a win win all around. Uh, I just told you earlier, good luck. I didn't expect you'd get a good headache. What? <laughs> is that such a, is that a oxymoron? A good headache? Thanks for taking our feedback into account. Listen, I I care about the people in this community. I really do. I would not bring as a sponsor, I would not bring somebody on as a sponsor that I didn't uh, fully believe in their product, who I have not thoroughly tested their product. I can't tell you how often I go back to that book we had as a sponsor. I always go back to the chapter, I hate them, can I punch? That really changed my life. Did one of the buttons make an espresso? It might have. I mean... <laughs> I, I was scared that he was going to turn like the bidet and sprayers on and then just shoot water all over the wall. Half the buttons were just like... His pictures, like there was nothing to read. Like, I just want to flush my four-year-old's pee. I'm not looking to make a McGriddle, you know? <laughs> can, can we just make this happen sometime this week? Needless to say, we ordered four of them for our new house. Speaking of espresso, I'm about out of coffee, man. Oh, Abyss, when is this? It will be this coming week. As in, actually, that was a terrible way to explain it. This week, in the next couple days. I, let's see, what's today, Monday? 
So my plan is to be back tomorrow on a normal Tuesday stream. And then Wednesday, I'm not entirely sure how this week is going to go. We are due for a really heavy snowstorm and ice storm that is supposed to start, I think, like tomorrow night and run through Thursday. So there may be a chance that our normal routine that has us out on Wednesday night will have us at home. Which, if that's the case, then I will probably stream. We'll just see how things go. So hopefully Monday, Tuesday for sure. Potentially Wednesday. All in preparation of jumping into the abyss. I'm wanting to do that. I want to say Friday. We'll see how the week goes. I'm on call this weekend, so my weekend's a little bit up in the air. But just stay tuned. It'll be this week. More than likely, it'll be kind of this weekend or a combination of a couple days. I don't see myself being able to get through the entire Abyss run in one stream. Um, so I anticipate it's probably going to be done over a couple different days. Either way, just tune in. You'll know. I'll have it up on Twitter. I'll have the uh, live streams posted out a couple hours before we start. Your son sits down to pee. What are you teaching the little fella? Actually, he uh, he does not. He's kind of a free-range chicken when it comes to that stuff, man. That dude loves to pee outside. He loves to pee in a bottle in the car. <laughs> yeah, he's very much a free spirit when it comes to that. I don't blame him, though. That toilet was scary. Wolf, I'll be watching. Good stuff. I haven't uh, talked to anybody about being on chat. I'm not even necessarily sure that I want that. I don't know. We'll see how things go. Are you going to grind uh, ROL for potions? If so, who will you use? I actually have been doing a little bit of that. I tend not to do that on stream because I find that... I find that even worse than revive farming in uh, 3.2.6. It's like even more mind numbing. So I tend to do that off stream. Um, I find that Hit Monkey knocks it out pretty quick. Hit Monkey can do it in like, I don't know, 60 hits. Uh, I've also got a rank two six star CGR. He knocks it out in about the same amount of time as well. I actually, this is funny. You may, don't make fun of me. Um, where is she? Purgatory. I really, excuse me. I really, really want to love Purgatory. I'm trying to find a reason to love Purgatory. Haven't found it yet. God, that's a sucky matchup. Uh, but I fought Winter Soldier with Purgatory probably 10 times. I just love, there's something about her animation. She's just so smooth. And uh, it was kind of a cool concept. It just didn't come together, you know? CGR is great for potion farming. It would also be nice uh, as an opportunity for me to get to learn a rotation. Kind of make that muscle memory. How did that clip me? I was in the middle of a dex. All right, let's not get let's not get killed. Our first fight with our brand new mojo here. Okay, well that's that's cool, I guess. Is this gonna kill him? <laughs> okay, okay, all right, okay. It's embarrassing. Fine, let's not talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Stop talking about it. Hi everyone, I'm back. You can start the stream now. Excellent. We have actually just been sitting here in complete silence. It was a tiny bit awkward, but I kind of enjoyed it. I love when her sword is purple. It makes me so happy. Did I hear purgatory? What up, Undermother? You did. Do you like purgatory? Do you use purgatory? 
Tell me there's hope for her. Uh, Abyss is about seven hours per path. Yeah, so I anticipate at least two. We'll see how it goes. Maybe we'll make it an all-nighter. If things are flowing, you know, we're having a good time in chat. We'll see what happens. Even with the rank 3 6-star CGR, I live by myself so I don't burn out. Winter Soldier can fall off on another cliff. Uh, shoot! No! I looked... Oh, who was that? Who? Victor? Victor, I entirely blame that death on you. Listen, I haven't played on stream for a week. rip <laughs> dang it what up pp uh you joined just in time to see me to see me fall on my face that was embarrassing uh i take full responsibility get wrecked <laughs> it's actually that's pretty funny i see here's what happened uh i started thinking about purgatory and completely forgot that I was actually playing a game. <laughs> I didn't look at the screen at all. <laughs> Mr. Murph, what up? Hey, Joel. Uh, unrelated question. Since you've been back to the game, out of all the new champs in the game, who do you think is the coolest, best animation? So there's been a couple of characters that I've really, really enjoyed playing. Um, one who I was just talking about, Purgatory. Uh, but that's to a much, much lesser degree. I've really enjoyed uh, Shang-Chi. I think he's a lot of fun to play. I've really enjoyed Immortal Hulk. I think he's been a lot of fun to play. Um, yeah, those are two kind of standouts for me. I don't know what it is about both of them. I just enjoy them. And Purgatory. Purgatory, I want to love. Her animations are so cool. Her purple glowing lightsaber. I just want to love her so much. But uh, she makes it a little bit difficult to love her. Spider Ham's pretty fun. Uh, I got pretty lucky early on when I got back, pulled him as a six star. I don't get to play him a whole lot, but I enjoy him. Uh, Under Mother, I took my Purgatory to rank three. I love using her. She can run through entire paths in Act 7 with 90% health left. Uh, she runs through the entire ROL with sub 100 hits on every fight. She also looks badass. Yes. She is cool. She reminds me, animation-wise, like how smooth she is, of Ronin. I don't know if they took Ronin as the model for that. I would I would guess that they probably did. Because Ronin is a very smooth character to play. Reminds me a lot of Purgatory. Uh, I Hulk is pretty cool. I agree. Uh, he is Hulk. We deserved Hercules is also another character um, That I really really enjoy. It's kind of hard not to like Herc, especially if he's awakened He's just kind of a cheat code for everything uh, Sorry about the streak. I would quit the third arena fight each round so you save some time going through the low levels Eh, I've got time. I'm I'm just here for the people and until Brian gets on. Which, whether he gets on or not, right around uh, right around midnight EST, I'm probably gonna have to get off. I've got we've got a company wide like annual meeting tomorrow at a Hilton hotel over in Missouri, and I've got to be there. I gotta be there at 7 a.m., which means I'm gonna need to leave my house sometime around like 6 in the morning. So I'm gonna have to be up getting ready at about 5.30, which is all of about seven hours from right now. So I'm gonna have to get myself to bed at a decent time. Hey, Joshua! What up, man? We were just talking about you, uh, I guess it's been a week ago. <laughs> I haven't streamed since last Monday. How are you, Joshua? The last time I spoke to you in chat, 
you were moving to the northeast, if I remember right. Were you moving to... Don't tell me. Was it Boston? Maybe? I feel like it was Boston. That could be completely wrong. But I feel like it was Boston. Does anybody have a link to the description for the invisible woman in the abyss? Path one. I'd love to read what her abilities are. Uh, just spent the last week driving the country to get to Maine. Ah, that's what it was. It's Maine. I was thinking you said Massachusetts, which is what brought Boston to mind. Driving the country to Maine, were you driving uh, with like a U-Haul taking all your stuff? Or did you have that shipped for you? Sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, is this where I can find tips on how I can improve my balance? Just kidding. Uh, absolutely. Definitely. Uh, make sure... <laughs> make sure you drink lots of coffee, for starters. I guess we did kind of talk about uh, the whole balancing thing. I guess I rambled on for a little bit and really didn't give anybody in chat an opportunity to talk. I think at this point, for me, it's kind of open-ended. Like I said, it doesn't really affect me a whole lot because I'm not somebody who gets the characters early on. So if they change them within six months, I'm not too upset about that. I could see where that would bother some people for sure. Drove a 26-foot U-Haul. Wow. That is exhausting. I know from experience driving delivery, big delivery trucks... Uh, that is exhausting. Just constantly being on the lookout, making sure you don't run over people. Once you're done with that U-Haul, would you mind sending it over to Southern Illinois? Uh, I could probably, <laughs> I could probably use it by the time you're done with it. I'm already overloaded on coffee, but regarding the game balance, I'm just in a wait and see mode myself. Yeah, it's... It's weird because I think it affects it affects you differently depending upon where you are in the game. Like if you're somebody who, like I mentioned earlier, you're going to spend a lot on crystals to get the new characters right away. Or you're going to invest a lot of time into the arena to get the character. You know, doing that now, knowing that uh, if it's a really, really good character, there might be a good chance that they tune it back a little bit. I don't know. That would certainly give me pause on whether or not I would want to do those things. It's also a little bit... Uh, it's a little bit confusing because is the tuning only going to take place if characters are underperforming? Like, is that the only scenario where we see change? Or is there a scenario where they think characters are overpowered and they're going to nerf them? If they're taking that approach, I think that that is a that is a lose lose position to take, man. Uh, only to find out the house I'm buying is not ready, and I'm in a hotel until then. Oh, did you buy the house like sight unseen kind of thing? Like, did you fly out there to look at it, or did you do everything uh, online? How did you find out that the house wasn't ready? Did you, did you like show up to the front door and there's still people there? I'd rather have them buff older champs first. There's too many Groot level champs in the game that everyone has. It didn't go over well last time. I can't imagine it's going to be better this time. They are... I'm trying to remember because I read that when it first came out. They are continuing the champ buff rotations in i want to say may is that right they're bringing them back but for some reason they've put a pause on it right now i do think that the timing is a little bit suspicious and like all things that kabam touches the timing is not their strong suit for sure man 
No, they could nerf nerf champs also. That's a it's just a really bad precedent to take, you know. It's also weird because if they're going to be adding this whole rating system to characters now, like are they knowingly going to create a character that's like a 1 or 2 in damage? You know, because if they're going to just outright say, hey, this character is really, really bad at the main thing that people enjoy doing, like they've got to know that they're going to have to they're going to have to tune the character up. I don't know, the whole thing just puts them in a situation that I don't think they need to be in. It's like a self-inflicted wound. They seem to be uh, they seem to be fairly good at that. I mean, I hope it all works out. Don't get me wrong. I'm not work. I'm not rooting against them. I think the rebalance concept is a bad idea, but a six month window seems too long. Also a waste of their own resources. It slows down their previous buff schedule. Yeah, I mean, if, if you zoom like way, way, way out on the game as a whole, my, my bigger problem with it is that why spend, to your point, I guess, why spend so much time and resources on... How do I put this? I mean, you can you can only mess around with characters so long and people find that entertaining. I have the thought in my head. I just, I don't know how I want to get it out. I guess what I'm saying is the formula for Kabam has always been Character first, content second, right? It has it has felt for a long time like character development drives the game, and it's obvious. Uh, crystals, crystals drive the game. Characters drive the game, but collecting those characters is only fun for so long until you realize that. There's nothing to do with the characters, and then they just become collectible 3D animations, you know? I I guess the point I'm trying to make is I wish that at some point... I'm not saying that they need to abandon character development, but I feel like there just needs to be more... Like, really, really concerted effort and time given. And not just, like, given, but obviously given to new content and i don't know if that's what solo competitive was supposed to be um and then that just totally fell apart but you got a window kabam like <laughs> i feel like you've been in this window for a while where people pe people could take or leave the game and you're giving them reasons to leave the game more and more Nice Nexus pick. What up, T-Ricky? You like that? I don't think that there was a bad choice there. I think those were all good choices. Uh, everything was remotely. I got a call when I got to New York. The closing date had to be extended. And yeah, that sucks. Are you at least in a, a decent hotel? <laughs> Repairs on the house were not completed in time. Gotcha. Dude, that sucks, man. Hope everything gets straightened up for you. Quickly. Uh, if Kabam would playtest the champ for one month before releasing them, then they should be able to get them balanced correctly in the first place. I had that exact same thought myself. Why not just give... Why not just give more uh, access to the characters early on before you release them? Right? <laughs> like... That seems like a way easier thing to do than to try to backtrack and appease uh, half the community when you decide to nerf a character that everybody decided they loved. But who am I? You know? Who am I? Hey, what up, casual? Long time no see, my friend. 
Howdy ho, Jolio. It's been many moons since I've been around these here parts. Eh, it's been a week. <laughs> Unless you weren't here uh, last Monday, in which case, shame on you. We're going to use that group, baby. I do think the five point system is kind of unnecessary at this point. The f Listen, uh, I will fully admit if I'm wrong about the point system, but I don't see how in the world a point system at this point in the game, no pun intended, uh, can one be effective or that anybody asked for. I think those are going to be very, very misleading because there's just way too many scenarios and different kinds of champs to just blanket statement, try to compare one to another with a number, you know? Like, who's that for? You know, is the... Is the point system for new players? And if the point system is for new players, then how does just a random number next to Aegon that says five, like, how does that tell them that, yeah, the the damage is really good, but you gotta have him awakened. It's gotta be long form content. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Hey man, who should I awaken? Mr. Fantastic or Spider Ham? Five star or should I save the gem? I would save that gem. Yeah, I would uh I would probably not dump that into either one of those characters at this point. Although it's a five star, for some reason I read that as a six star. I guess that depends upon where your account is at. Um, what other science characters do you have? Uh, it's negative three degrees here, but it feels like six, so that's good. Hey, that's a win all around. <laughs> I think uh, this Friday here in the Midwest, Southern Illinois, I think is supposed to be zero or a negative four, something like that. Yeah, we're due for an ice storm and then potentially like, I think up to like 15 inches of snow this week. It's going to be interesting for sure. I do a whole lot of driving for work over in St. Louis. So if the roads are bad, I may, uh, I may find myself sleeping in my truck. I'll stream from my phone. Hey, what up, quick shot? Uh, you are good background noise to cook to. Well, well, thank you. I appreciate that. I think. What you cooking? Also, why are you cooking? It's like 10.45. <laughs> uh, I believe the point system is more like a guideline for the developers. Uh... I guess, <laughs> maybe. Do the developers really need a ambiguous pointing s point system though? Again, it's like, it all comes down to timing. If you told me, let's say the game has got solo competitive out. We got this big spring event coming. There's like, there's lots of content that's, that is announced and has a like a definite time, you know? And then you tell me, hey, we're going to do a rating system? Like, okay. That's fine. Whatever. Nobody's talking about it. We got lots of other things to talk about. We got fun content to play. But when there's nothing to do, <laughs> you know, when there's nothing going on and you decide to drop that, makes you wonder. And then it, there's nothing else to do, so people scrutinize it, you know? Uh, the in-game rating seems like a new player thing to me, but it can't tell the whole story on how to use a champ and when to use them. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. It... I just don't see... I don't see how it achieves its intended purpose, you know? You're almost better off... If you're a new... If you're a new player to the game, 
right? If you're a new player to the game and you open up, you know, your first couple of crystals, you manage to get a couple of characters, like what's the first thing you're going to do? You're going to go to YouTube or you're going to Google it and a video from one of, you know, 20 great content creators is going to pop up and if they spend any amount of time, they're going to know very shortly how to play the character if they're a decent character. Which I feel like uh, that that introduces them to the community, which is much more likely to, you know, for them to get involved in, to get wrapped into, and to become part of a game, as opposed to a rating system, which I think is just going to confuse more than anything. Uh, when does this see, uh, when does this abyss adventure begin? Got a market on ye old calendar. It's a little bit up in the air. It'll definitely be this week. Um, it will definitely be this week. <laughs> we may start it depending upon how the week goes. So if I stream tomorrow night, oh my word, casual, that one's on you. If I stream tomorrow night, then I probably won't stream Wednesday. So I see myself probably starting the abyss either this Thursday or Friday, one of those two days. And then I don't see myself being able to finish it all within one stream. So we'll start it either Thursday or Friday, and then we'll pick it back up later in the week, whether that be a Saturday night stream or a Sunday afternoon stream, but you will know in short order. It's going to suck here in Northern Illinois. Yeah, Chicago's due for a whole bunch of snow, man. Jill, check Twitter for a bass, a bass. Wow. Joel, check Twitter for Abyss Map to read abilities. Did you tag me in something? Because that'd be very, very helpful. Ooh, what is this? <laughs> Did you tag? You tag Brian in it? That's hilarious. Who be the pick? What was I doing right here? Goodness, is that me in like uh, 240p? Is that how bad the, uh, <laughs> the stream quality is? Uh, oh, perfect. Thank you, Mr. Murph. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, we will definitely be going through this. We will definitely be going through that. Dang, that's such small font. Thank you, you guys are the best. Uh, one pan Trattoria Tortellini Bake. Uh, Hello Fresh. We actually did Hello Fresh twice last week. They've got good stuff, man. We did the shrimp uh, over Rositi, I think. And then we did... A tortelloni. Maybe it's probably the same one you're doing. <laughs> and I cook because I'm hungry. Hey, fair enough. You do you. I'll just be here acting like an idiot. Uh, I imagine the starting point of developing a character is ambiguous, and the rating system would set the parameters for what direction they want to take the champion. I just don't believe that. <laughs> you know, if you if you told me that six years ago, okay. But we are, we're what, seven years deep? Like 250 characters into development now? And some ambiguous number system is how you're gonna, you're gonna plan and develop your characters? I don't know. Like I said, I'm I'm not actively rooting against anybody here. I I hope it all works out. It's just uh the timing is suspicious. Um Wow. That really hit me. 
I gotta work on my Magneto gameplay, man. I don't play him enough. <laughs> I need to play him more. Uh, new player will go to BG Stream and ask, is insert name of champ here any good? Yeah, that's pretty much how we all learn. And then they'll come here and I'll say, well, go to BG's chat. Uh, the original post had Herc in place of Call on their forum post before they updated it. Karate Mike made a video on it. Uh, if they think Herc utility is a two like Call, the rating system is already bad. I am going to die here. 100% going to die. I mean, it is flawed already. If you're sent, trust me, I get that Cole, you know, Cole's a decent damage dealer. But if you're talking about just like ease of, ease of use when it comes to damage, like how can you call Herc and Cole a five? You know, those are two such different characters. Yeah, if you don't know how to cook, it's pretty great. Yeah, we started. Uh, I can't remember what the first company was that we did, but they had a promotion over the holidays. And uh, yeah, we've been enjoying it. Guess who's back, back, back. Pixie, you left? I thought you were here just creeping. Uh, you might have opened in Photoshop, so you can zoom in on text or go to the original link. Yeah, it's all good. I'll probably save it. Um, and open it up in Photoshop after the stream. I smoked a brisket the other day for 12 hours, and it was the peak of my culinary career. Uh, it also put the whole house into food coma. Hey, casual, how is uh, how is your knee, dude? I feel like it's been it's been at least a couple weeks since I talked to you about that. A has it fallen off? I didn't have a B. I just, I don't know. That was, that was it. Just A. <laughs> I mean, four categories on a scale from one to five is just not enough depth to cover how complex this game is at this stage. <sighs> why do, why do they do this? Like, I don't even enjoy talking about this stuff. You know? Why can't we talk about, like, fun content? How do you include persistent charges or awakened abilities, crossfight abilities, synergies that make big differences to characters? Um, how characters interact with masteries? I don't know. That's for them to figure out, I suppose. <laughs> it's youngin. Hey, thanks for those, uh, yeah. Thanks for that tweet. <laughs> I give the new rating system a 2 out of 5. Well said, PP. Well said. Uh, nope, my internet was sucking golf balls earlier and I left the stream. Ah, that's right. Okay, let's not die here to Nick Fury, but I think it's going to happen. Man, I used to love uh, Psylocke. Shoot. Yeah, just kill me. I'm not gonna... Mm. Actually, no. We're definitely gonna die. Never mind. <laughs> I forgot we had recoil on. Uh, Psylocke used to be my go-to for AW, man. I used to love playing her over there. You're welcome. Yes, we'll make sure that Brian sees that. Uh, my knee is also... My knee is like a haunted house door. My kneecap did pop out of place again like a week ago while I was sick. Double whammy on the old body. Wait, how is your knee like a haunted house door? You mean like creaky? <laughs> That's kind of cool, I guess. El Chingon! How you doing, brother? I'm good, man. Happy to be back. Starting the week. With a stream. Man, I think my awakened ability is going to come into play here. Actually, take that back. If I'm infected, I'm just going to die. Oh, the damage is overwhelming. Whew. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, let's talk about fun content. How about that variant eight? I uh I'm actually kind of looking forward to variant eight. Um just because my Red Widow, Deadly Origins. Uh, I did take her to rank two. I haven't got a chance to play with her yet, so I'm I'm kind of looking forward to playing with her. Uh I also have never played with Masakre. Masakre. I think that's how you say his name. Massacre. So I'm kind of looking forward to that too. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Can we go back to talking about Summer of Pain? Miss you. I, uh, unfortunately, I didn't get... I didn't really get all that involved in Summer of Pain. I think I might have ran a few paths, but I really... Really didn't do a whole lot of it. The longer and longer we go without them talking about uh, solo competitive makes me just so nervous i mean you think about was that november so when did they make that announcement video the one they had kabam mike there they sat down with a couple of the developers actually you know what it might have been because that was shortly after we came back to streaming and i came back in october so i guess yeah that was probably early november so we've now gone basically november december January, three months, without a peep. I love peeps. Uh, to be honest, I did not mind Variant 8 completion that much, but some of the paths for explo uh, exploration are not that fun. Exploration in general is the bane of my existence. I will never, ever, you can quote me on this whenever you want, I will never fully explore Act 6. I expect solo competitive mode to be as good as their rating system. <laughs> Listen, that rating system is going to be a banger. I think I'm out of coffee, which makes me really sad. Just about. Ah! Oh dear, I've made a mess. I don't have a napkin, but I do have some paper. Okay, there we go. Let's see, where are we at here? X-23, man. Look at this, X-23 and Gwenpool. That was one of my... One of the last videos I made was a comparison between those two. OG gods of the contest. Both were excellent back in the day. Uh, yeah, my knee creaks and groans. It's weird. Hopefully it holds up through my birthday. Uh, my appointment isn't until March. Mm. Between your knee and my back. Summer Pain Gauntlet, The Maze. I love that style of con uh, content. They could pump one or two of those out per year and I'd be satisfied. You know what they could put out? Um, poor choice of words. Uh, you know what content they could release that would be a lot of fun that I don't think would be that difficult to put together is some, some kind of like Karina level challenge every single month. Just do one every single month. Like, you could even have them on, on kind of a rotation where, like, eventually, as one is added, another one is, is bumped off the list. How do I want to play this? Let's do it like that. But that's taking uh, content that's already available, putting a little spin on it, half decent rewards. You give people something to look forward to every month, make content about. Ugh. <sighs> Who am I? You know what song is stuck in my head? My kids watch that Disney movie Encanto. And uh, the song they don't talk about, we don't talk about Bruno. I've been doing my very best to not break out into it all stream long. I'm proud of myself. 
Uh, lunar side quest is boring and costs a lot of energy. I haven't even looked at it yet. What up, True Potential? Uh, did you call me Joel Bear? I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. The more I say it in my head, the more I like it. <laughs> what a man. How do I do how do I do a power burn? I don't know how. This is another character I've got to learn. Let me read my book to you. Ha! Ah! See? That's how you know that reading is bad. She uses it as a violent weapon. Uh, I used to babysit and I would sing Mickey Mouse Clubhouse songs. Yeah, my oldest was really into Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I had all of those songs on lockdown and repeat in my head. I'm weird, my wife will tell you. I mean, I'll just bust out into song any given moment, all day, any style, any song. I usually turn it into some opera. I can't even remember how this dude works, to be honest with you. <laughs> Playing doctor. See, if I even say it, I'm going to bust into song. And then half the chat's not going to know what I'm talking about. I don't even remember anything about the movie, but that song plays every day. Ah, so you aren't allowed to discuss Bruno in your household as well. My, <laughs> my wife has watched that movie probably 10 times in the last few weeks. It's a decent movie. Yeah, speaking of old creaky houses, it's, it's about a house that like gives little children magical powers and then tries to eat them or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm off base on that. Uh, uh, how do you feel about Papa Joel instead? I'm pretty sure that Stroking My Saber has stolen that from you. Almost did it right there. Almost almost talked about Bruno. Had to hold it in. The magic of fatherhood. Uh, I feel dirty for doing it though. Rewards are so bad for the effort. I think I might pass. Think I might pass. My daughter watches Encanto theory videos on YouTube constantly. Wait, there's theory videos? Actually kind of interested. Spoiler alert. Yeah, the house. The house eats the children. It's uh it's kind of a bloody mess at the end. I don't know what Disney was thinking. Mickey Mouse pops out of a portal, saves one of the kids, they go into some sort of time loop, they pop out, Kang is sitting there, they stab Kang in the forehead, and then um yeah, they run off with Minnie Mouse. Stroking my what now? That's his name. What up, Scarco? Scarco? Uh, she watches it for herself, not even to entertain the kids. Hey, fair enough. Whatever you're into, man. Hundreds of theory videos. I haven't watched a theory video since uh, the last season of Game of Thrones. Which, spoiler alert, it's terrible. Mickey mascot of the evil corporation. Yeah, in my head, um, for some reason I was picturing, uh, picturing Kingdom Hearts. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. Oh. I feel better. <clears throat> it's like trying to hold in a fart. Like It's just going to make you sick at some point. Uh, there are theory videos on almost every kid movie. Also, fake trailers for sequels that don't exist. Had to have a serious combo with my, uh, my eight-year-old about the dangers of clickbait. Uh, that's funny you should say that. Uh, yeah, my son. I forget what the video even was that he was watching. But, uh, yeah, he was... He was convinced that this video he watched was real, and my wife was trying to 
gently explain to him, Not all things you see on the internet are necessarily true. Which I'm not sure that really registered with him. Cheeks firmly clapped. She said she didn't like the movie that much, but she admits that she has to like it a little bit to continue to watch it. And she's singing along in her head now. <laughs> Hopefully she sang along with me there. Hey, Obi-Don, what's up, man? This is the longest prep for a run I've ever seen. When are you going to take the plunge? The problem is that I've only prepped for two streams, okay? We prepped last Monday and we prepped tonight. It's happening this week. It's happening this week. Um, probably, if I had to guess, probably looking at Thursday. Uh, Miranda said his kids were singing it while he was writing it. Uh, I had to talk to them about NDAs. He said, we don't talk about what we don't talk about. That's actually pretty funny. Uh, I hate it when people do fake trailers. I kind of swore off trailers altogether. Just kind of ruins things. There are fake things on the internet? Uh, it depends upon the day of the week, I guess. <laughs> Usually Mondays, not so much. But Tuesday? Gotta watch out for Tuesday. Uh, Hi uh, Hyundai Ionic versus Corolla Hybrid versus, uh, versus Honda Insight. Uh, I hate the Honda Insight just because of the looks. That's the one with the rear wheel covers, right? Like the body panel sticks down. The Hyundai Ionic is a beautiful piece of machinery. Corolla Hybrid probably will run until the end of time. If I had to pick, though, probably would go with the new Kia EV6, is it? Thing looks pretty cool. That was a uh, very eclectic group of vehicles that you just mentioned. Oh, speaking, middle finger's not here, is he? Ah, oh, I wanted to get his opinion on the new Sequoia since he just bought his wife one. Uh, I like those fake movie posters people constantly share on Facebook that irritates me more than it should, especially when they say, I'm wrong for not believing poor Photoshop. Listen, I only get on Facebook to go to Marketplace and shop for used refrigerators. That's pretty much it. What up, Accelerate? Sup, butt? I know some people might find that condescending or mean, but I take that as a mark of our friendship and endearing love towards one another. You're thinking of the old Insight, not the new one. Oh, there's a new one? I thought that was a very, very strange combination for you to say. Honda Insight. Is that model year uh, 2023? Now you got me curious. Hold on. Let's see. Honda Insight 2022? Maybe? What's she looking like these days? Is she like a... Uh oh, um, looks like a Civic. We don't talk about Bruno. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want, uh, I think it's the Kia EV6 GT with like 500 something horsepower. I have to see it in person. But, um, ah, it looks really good. Headroom in the back is probably terrible, just the way that they've got the, the rear pillars kind of sloping in. Uh, while you're on Facebook, there's your problem. I, man, I haven't really used Facebook since college. But I have bought and I have sold a lot of things on Marketplace. Your plot summary about Encanto and Kang being in it is interesting. Kang is a time traveler 
that one guy sees the future coincidence uh i think not i think bruno might be kang in another universe oh please kill him I imagine you have a black mini SUV crossover. No, that is not. That is not. If I, first off, what are you insinuating for one? Two, I wouldn't mind having a little mini. Uh, but no, we have the opposite of a mini. We have a Ford Expedition Max. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a mini bus. Uh, Pixie, all right, I'm out. Going to do some chores so I can listen to the other bald man, Night Joel, and everyone. Is he on? Good night, Pixie. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, is the, uh, is the bald OG man, is he on right now? Been away for a while playing the new Pokemon game and hunting shiny Pokemons. That sounds like fun. That takes me back to, uh, grade school, man. Trading the old Pokemons in the bus, connecting our Game Boys, Game Boy Colors to one another. I get trash gas mileage in my Grand Marquee and just got a catalytic converter below. Efficiency code. You know what I really want? I've said it a couple times. I really want uh, the Rivian SUV, the R1S, but that's not going to come out for a long time. What movie are you talking about? Don't Google it. Just don't look it up. It's it's better. It's uh the most recent, or at least I think it's the most recent Disney movie. In Encanto, Encanto. Depends upon what side of the country you're from saying it. I rewatched Loki last week. So pumped for Kane to come wreck everything. That I think Loki was my favorite uh, Disney Plus show. By a mile. Speaking of shows that were good, uh, we just finished Ozark season. Was it four? Whatever the current season is out now, we just finished it. That show, the acting, that's good. And I'm pretty sure that this last season is like a part A, part B kind of thing. Very much looking forward to the end of that. Loki and WandaVision for sure. WandaVision for me was only... It was, it was good at the beginning. When you really weren't sure what was going on. Like there was a lot of kind of mystery around it. Then the middle for me kind of dragged because I kind of knew where it was going. Uh, and then the last couple episodes was, was pretty good. But Loki for me, I enjoyed Loki from start to finish. I still have only watched the first episode of the Hawkeye series. I just can't. I need to just force myself to watch it. I'm sure it'll get good. I'm just not that excited for it. All right, it is 11.15. Uh, I'm going to finish up these fights, and then hopefully Brian should be on. Like I said, I've got to be up super early in the morning. I need to be up at about 5.30, uh, which is in about six hours from now. Tomorrow, I've got a really, really busy day tomorrow, so... I'm gonna need y'all to pump me up tomorrow night. I'm gonna rely on your energy. I need somebody to order one of the roto wipes. Let me know. Let me know how that treated you. Attack on Titan final season is a banger so far. Wait, that's out? That's the only anime show I've ever seen. I might have to re-download um Shoot, what is that stupid app that plays all the anime? I downloaded it just so I could watch that show. Uh, Squishy Bagel, Sushi Muffin. What's the name of that app? You know the one I'm talking about. Crunchy Roll. Sushi Roll? Squishy Roll? I think it's Crunchy Roll. 
Hawkeye was good, but a little slow at times. Uh, Hawkeye picks up. I liked it a lot. I want more Kate Bishop now. Crunchy roll. There it is. <laughs> Soggy roll. Stale roll. <laughs> it's four episodes in now. Okay, sweet. Shoot, I gotta be up early. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, well, I'm gonna be really, really dragging tomorrow night, man. Squid taco. Dang, now I kind of want to... Now I want a taco. S sushi muffin. <laughs> Did I really say sushi muffin? I mean, that's a thing, right? Sushi muffin. Oh, all right. All right. Um, we're back, man. I feel like I was gone for a month. Last week, uh, last week was just busy. Couldn't get here. But uh, this week will be fun. This week will be a lot of fun. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow night for our normal Monday, Tuesday back-to-back -back stream. So make sure you don't miss that. If you do me a gigantic favor and hit the like button before you roll out. If you're watching this uh, as part of the VOD squad, I love you long time. Do your thing. Uh, let me see. Do I have anything else I need to say? Uh, just watch it on your eye fridge. Listen, you can't joke around on stuff like that. I've done a lot of research on appliances in the last like <laughs> month. They make hood vents with like built-in TVs. So don't joke around with the eye fridge. No, I need a banger to end the stream on. Nope. Nope. Yeah, why not? We'll leave it on that one. All right, boys and girls, uh, good to be back tonight. Missed you all last week. Sorry for being away for a couple days. Uh, was pooping a lot and busy putting up drywall. So that was the uh, that was the short version. <laughs> I'm assuming Brian is on by now, so go show him some love, as I know you always do. Uh, we will see you tomorrow night. Should be right about the same time. I usually try to get on um, uh, scheduled for. 10.30 EST. Stream always goes live five minutes ahead of time. And uh, I even I even try to go early a little bit. So. Sushi muffin. Ah. All right. Uh, much love to Keith tonight. Appreciate the, uh, the dono that gets you the stream trophy tonight. I'll have the Aston Martin in the driveway tomorrow for you. Much love to everybody for stopping by. Uh, till we see you all tomorrow night. Have a wonderful evening. Stay safe.